Hello, I'm Tom Long. I'm an assistant professor in politics and international relations at the University of Warwick. I'm going to be spending my Fulbright at the Instituto de Ciencia Política at the Católica, and I am very much looking forward to it. I'm really sorry that I can't be there with you today. I am wrapping up my term here in the UK, uh, and then I will be joining the start of the, the doctoral term at La Católica uh, in just a few days. Um, so I want to take a few minutes to take this opportunity to, to introduce myself, say a little bit about some of the work that I've done so far, and particularly what it is I'm looking forward to doing during my time in Santiago, both in terms of the, the research and teaching. Uh, so I am in international relations. A lot of my work is in international relations theory, and particularly I'm interested in the dynamics of asymmetry in international relations. So how do power disparities uh, affect international relationships from both sides of that relationship, the perspective of the stronger and weaker state? Um, Theoretically, I do uh, some work on small states and medium powers and in international relations uh, tied to that work on asymmetry. Uh, I'm working on a book at the moment, uh, A Small State's Guide to Influence in International Politics. Um, but more to the point, most of my work has been uh, focused on U.S. Latin American relations, and that is really what I'll be spending most of my time working on while I am in Chile. Uh, so a lot of that work has been historically oriented. I, I've done a lot of archival work uh, in Latin America, starting with my PhD and then for the ensuing uh, book and some of my, my work since then. Um, but most of that archival work was focused in Argentina, Brazil, Colombia, Mexico, and Panama. And I'm really looking forward to, to the opportunity to, to work in Chilean archives as well as part of my, part of my time during the Fulbright. Um, the current project that I'm working on, and it ties in really well to some fascinating work being done by people at, uh, at La Católica, has to do with the recreation of inter-American order after World War II. So a little bit like the broader U.S.-Latin American set of relationships, this moment is seen typically with a very heavy focus on the United States. So focus on U.S. power, U.S. interests, U.S. decision making, uh, often to at least a partial exclusion of of trying to understand Latin American interests, processes of decision making, and ultimately influence on outcomes. Uh, so in my previous work, this is really what I, I tended to focus on, was trying to better understand Latin American foreign policy to the United States. Uh, so in this moment, this post-war moment, I think there is a real critical juncture for the formation of uh, international institutions in the Americas, the Organization of American States, uh, the Collective Defense under the Rio Treaty, um, and, and, and in general, the story of this, the history of this, uh, tends to focus on the U.S. role in creating these institutions. That is, the argument for many scholars is that this was really the encapsulation of post-war U.S. dominance over the Americas, U.S. hegemony that would then last through the Cold War. And, of course, U.S. power was, was really uh, important and is fundamental to understanding this. But at the same time, I think there's a lot to be learned from looking in greater depth at, uh, at Latin American strategies uh, during this time. What Latin American states, and what I'll be working on during the Fulbright, what Chile was seeking uh, in the creation of these new international institutions. Um, so this ties in really well with some work being done by, by people at La Católica, uh, some of the, the, the really top historians of diplomatic uh, relations of Chile are at La Católica, people whose work I've read for a decade but, but whom I've never had the opportunity to meet, uh, and so I'm really looking forward to being able to do that and to get their perspectives on my work, get their insights on my work. Um, 
And to collaborate with them, of course. And in particular, there are a number of collaborations that have started a bit from a distance with people in political science who are working uh, some on Pan-Americanism, so the evolution of international, uh, international organizations in the Americas before the period that I'm really focusing on, uh, as well as some people who are working particularly on contemporary organizations. So uh, what does the structure of, of, uh, of inter-American organization or intra-Latin American organization look like? today. Uh, and so these are people who, who, uh, who I have a lot in common with and some of whom I've had the chance to meet at international conferences and this sort of thing. But I'm uh, really excited about the opportunity offered by the Fulbright to, to work closely and to really establish relationships with some of these, these scholars. Uh, in terms of teaching, I'm going to be teaching a doctoral seminar uh, on the topic of new rising world powers. Uh, so I teach an, uh, two MA classes here in the UK on the topic of rising powers. And I'm really looking forward to having the opportunity to approach this from, I think, a very different perspective in Chile. So uh, here at my university, at the University of Warwick, about half of my students at the graduate level are British, and many of the other half originate from some of these rising powers. They're, they're coming from, uh, from India and China in particular to, to study. Um, in Chile, I think the perspective could be quite different. Uh, and I think Chile is a really fascinating place to, to look at this and to teach this because it's a country that has been amongst the most active in seeking out economic opportunities uh, from the rise, the economic rise of these, of these countries. And so that should be uh, a really fascinating seminar to, to teach over the course of my term at, at La Católica. Um, I'm also really looking forward to taking the opportunity to engage with some of the, the broader conversations about uh, Chilean foreign policy today. Uh, I've had the opportunity both when I was in Washington uh, and, and here in London uh, to meet and engage with some members of the Chilean diplomatic corps, which is, I think, a, a really and historically has been uh, a really capable uh, professional a di group of diplomats that, that in a way allow Chile to, to punch above its weight diplomatically um, and to, to learn from them a little bit about how they see Chile's place in the changing world environment. Um, so that is another, another aspect of, this, of, of my time in Santiago that I'm really looking forward to. Uh, I just would also like to take this moment to thank the staff uh, of Fulbright and thank Fulbright for allowing this opportunity. Um, the staff has been tremendously helpful, so thank you very much. Um, and though I'm not there to meet you today, especially for those of you who are in Santiago, I hope to have the chance to meet many of you over the next four months. Um, and so please don't hesitate to, to get in touch. Um, if you can find me at La Católica, or I'm sure get my information through, uh, through the Fulbright staff. But I would love to be in contact if any of this project seems interesting, uh, and I look forward to learning more about what you'll be doing during your time uh, in Chile. Thank you very much.